Hello everyone, welcome back. Meta has just released a new model, SAM. SAM stands for Segment Anything Model. In this video, we will take a closer look at SAM and its capabilities and how we can use it. Let's get started. So let's have a look at the official website of Segment Anything. Here you'll find out the description that Segment Anything Model is a new AI model from Meta AI that can cut out any object in any image with a single click. So you'll see here that uh, how it works is you can use a interactive points to select the object then another option is you can try this segment everything on the image so it will segment every single object with the points then we have an example of valid multiple mask here so let's have a look at this we will use this example in future they are expecting it to take an input from gauge object or maybe AR or VR set and then try to identify the object and in future we will have something called text to object segmentation then we have something called extensible outputs where we can take this mask and fetch it to the other AI system to create uh, 3D objects. So if you click on this link, it will take you to another uh, paper where they have talked about, you know, how these images can be converted into output objects. So another important point here is uh, zero shot generalization. So you'll see here Sam has learned a general notion of what objects are. This understanding enable them to identify the object without additional training. So that's really uh, great. So let's get into demo. So we have terms and conditions. Just select that. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, use the existing image. I will upload my own image and we'll test on that as well. So let's select this dog image. Uh, here you will find that you can add a mask. So let's click on this. Then you can use this point to select the object. Once you have this, you can click on this cutouts, cut out the object, and it will take this object and it will paste in this section. And you can even save these images uh, in your uh, system. So that's cool. Uh, let's try something else. So we'll go ahead and uh, try on another image or maybe let me take my own image. So you can see that it is extracting and embedding for the image. Let's wait for a few seconds. So we are ready here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select. I selected this image because I wanted to see, you know, uh, how it will segment because there are different items here and there are a lot of things and they are closely associated right so let's see this so we'll first i'll go ahead and do this everything uh, so it will segment every items in this uh, picture oh, this is super cool right i mean you can see here it has segment everything even the curves on this chili uh, mushrooms and other stuff right so let's go ahead and try this box option we have something called box here uh, where you can just draw a square box and it will segment that particular items and then you can if you want you can cut out that individual items so that's cool so i uploaded another image and uh, here you will see that there is something very cool uh, that is called multi mask so if you select this option you can click the subject with this and then it will create a multiple layer of that so this is really cool and once you move it will align it back so let's look at some more details. So here on this paper, you'll find uh, details about data engine and what it is doing. And there is a blog post about that, uh, where they are talked about everything in very detail and what is there in the future and other stuff. And the most important point here is, uh, you know, it has been trained on 11 million images with 1 billion plus masks. So that's why it is really good in segmenting the images. And you can always explore the data set here and you can download the full data set. Uh, by clicking on this link and then they talked about this model design how it actually works and other stuff and then we have frequently asked questions so if you see that you know uh, when we created the mask uh, it didn't uh, give any labels so yeah currently it doesn't provide any labels it doesn't work on videos yet but it works on the frames of the video uh, to, to get the code you can always go ahead and find it in the github so you can find the data set here. Uh, this is a preview data set where they have around uh, 50,000 images out of total 11 million images. Uh, you can access the full data set from here and you can actually search images here. So consider that if I want area per mask equal to equal to medium, I'll just go ahead and uh, click search and it will return uh, images based on this uh, criteria. So this is really cool. So let's wait for some more seconds and we should have some images. So you can see here that it has returned based on this query parameter. You'll find the entire code in uh, GitHub repo and how to use it as well. So they have given uh, details about installation and how to use this. And the best thing is uh, they have this notebook uh, option for collab, which you can uh, go through and run and try and test it on uh, collab. So this is something which I'll try next. And if I find something useful, 
I'll share with you guys. So that's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And see you in the next video. Thank you.